a gang of women who killed an Egyptian student in a suspected race attack had abused her in the street months earlier, it has been claimed. The mother of Marian Mustafa says her daughter had been assaulted by the same thugs four months before, but police in Nottingham did nothing. Marian, 18, was left in a coma after being jumped by the group of female lobs outside a shopping centre, while she waited for a bus on February 20. The teenager had been shopping in Nottingham city centre, before she was repeatedly assaulted by the women in an unprovoked attack on Parliament Street. The engineering student was rushed to Nottingham City Hospital and placed in an induced coma, but died on Wednesday. Her family believed she was targeted in a racially motivated attack by a group of women who had previously attacked her in the street, breaking her sister's leg. According to an Egyptian newspaper, Mustafa's mother Nesrin Shehata posted a video on social media saying, Four months ago, two of the same ten women abused my daughter in the street with no specific reason. We went to the police station and issued an official complaint. However, nothing happened. Apostrophe she added that, when the women saw her in the street walking alone, they attacked her once again, and dragged her about several feet in the street. Her uncle Amrel Harari, 46, said he believed his niece would still be alive today had detectives investigated the original attack. Speaking from Cairo, Egypt, he said, two of the girls had actually attacked Mariam and Malak four months ago and broke Malak's leg. Their parents went to the police who just filed the complaint, and that was all that was a warning, they should have acted. The second time she was walking down the street, when these girls shouted it at her, they called her Black Rose and Miriam said that wasn't her name. They started to beat her, kicking and punching her all over, she ran away, but they chased after her. She didn't even know these girls. A 17-year-old girl was arrested on suspicion of assault occasioning grievous bodily harm and was subsequently released on conditional bail. A Home Office post-mortem examination is due to take place. Miriam, who was a Nottingham College engineering student, is understood to have suffered a bleed on the brain as well as a stroke during the attack. She was reportedly punched several times before she was further verbally assaulted after getting onto the number 27 bus. Miriam, who had just been offered a place at university in London, had originally been discharged but started to deteriorate at home and was rushed back to hospital. Her sister, Malak, 15, said previously, We are very upset about what has happened. She is such a kind, ambitious person and one who was running after her dreams of being an engineer.
We don't understand who would do this to her. She is very quiet and never gets involved in any problems. Apostrophe lawyer Emma Dadua Hussein, from the Egyptian Embassy in London, said, Mariam has been in coma for three days after she underwent a critical surgery in the brain to treat her deteriorated condition. The hospital sent her home despite her severe cerebral hemorrhage. Detective Chief Inspector Matt Healy of Nottinghamshire Police said, Our thoughts are with the woman's family who we are giving support to at this difficult time. Our investigation is ongoing and extensive inquiries have already been completed, but we're urging anyone with any information that could help us with our inquiries to get in touch with us as soon as possible. We know there were a lot of people standing at the bus stop when the assault happened and we're urging them to please come forward with any information which could help us. Apostrophe Nottingham College Vice Principal Yalton Mello said, Everyone at the college is shocked and saddened to learn of the death of Mary and Mustafa. Our thoughts and condolences are with her parents and family at this difficult time. We will do anything we can to support the family. Miriam was a well-liked and able engineering student at our Highfields campus with strong aspirations for her future studies and eventual career. Miriam was a keen student who worked hard in both theory and practical sessions and was doing very well on her course 